All right, boys and girls, I know you guys want to get to the part where we blow stuff up, so let's just get this out of the way. Hardcore stats. 580cc tank. That's big, if any of you guys don't know. 8.8 .8 pounds is what this guy weighs. 23-inch barrel. Holds 21 rounds. 45 inches overall length. Adjustable butt plate. 130 shots per fill in 22 right here. 250 bar fill, that's 3,625 PSI. Full or semi-automatic, it's a select fire. 1,000 rounds per minute cyclic rate, so that's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Say hello to the hot sun blitz. So in the different calibers, you guys, it's gonna have 36 foot-pounds in 22, 41 foot-pounds in 25, 53 foot-pounds in 30 caliber, Shots at optimal velocity, 130 shots in 22, 110 in 25 caliber, and get this, you guys, 100 shots in 30 caliber. Wow, that sounds like semi-auto. That would be wonderful. We'll find out how accurate it is. The magazine capacity on the 22 caliber is 21 rounds, 19 rounds on the 25, and 16 rounds on the 30. Gas-operated cycling mechanism requires no batteries. Quiet energy, full shrouded barrel, detachable swing load magazine includes two. That's awesome. Magazine windy tool is stored in the stock. Okay, that's cool. Elevation comb, so it's got an adjustable rubber butt pad and adjustable cheek piece. Very nice. Carry handle with integrated adjustable open sights. Oh, open sights, awesome. Of course, you got your dual rail, so you can have Weaver or Picatinny scope rings on there. It's got the manometer integrated under the stock there. All-weather synthetic stock with textured rubber pistol grip includes a fill probe with a 1 8 BSPP male threading. So you got to get your uh, 1 8 quick disconnect foster fitting to put on the end of that and you'll be ready to go. Here's the description on this bad boy. The Hatsan Blitz Select Fire Precharged Pneumatic Air Rifle. It's the first 40 automatic air gun anywhere that shoots 30 caliber pellets. Mm, yes, it is, actually. The Blitz has a newly designed swing load rubber magazine and fully shrouded quite I decided to skip over the official description on this one just because it repeated a lot of what was in the hardcore stats. Well, let's get on with the story. I ran this gun until it stopped working. I thought it didn't work. And then it turns out you have to clean the barrel every 500 to 1,000 rounds. And as soon as I did that, it just came right back to life and worked awesome. Holy crap, look at that care package, you guys. Three clips, magazines, wow. These things are huge, too. Look at how big they are. Look like uh, FX Impact magazines. And you got some O-rings. For maintenance, uh, these are some O-rings that go on your fill probe, and we got a fill probe in here. You're going to need a 1 8 quick disconnect foster fitting to go on the end of that, and then you'll be ready to go for your hand pump. Here's your manual. Tells you everything you need to know about your hat sand blitz. Let's look inside. There's uh, different parts of your rifle. Definitely well illustrated and to the point. Four pages long. Probably go ahead and read it. This gun sells for $999. I can see why. It's a little higher end than your run-of-the-mill hat sand. Especially that carbon fiber tank right there. Beautiful. And pretty much looks like an M16. All the way down, got M16 sights right there, and all your adjustable stuff right there. It looks really nice. Yeah, check that out. Beautiful. It's it, it's finished well. I mean, I've seen hat stands that are, you know, cheap and plasticky, and you know, you can see the mold marks on it. But this thing is, uh, this thing's nice. Okay, this thing's looks well made, and uh, that. Grip right there is rubberized, so it's not plastic. Look at that machinery over there. You got a bunch of levers and uh, up and down for your cheek piece. We'll figure that all out later, but you guys can probably guess how it works. 
So I guess this is just a, like gonna work like my uh, hats and Galatian semi-auto, except it's gonna keep on going when I pull that trigger. There's a look at that trigger right there. That's your safety because your uh, traditional safety switch. I'm gonna show it to you on the other side. Here's your uh, what well, you would think of as your safety, but it's actually your full auto switch. That's called the fun switch. That's the fun position. Wow. Check that out, you guys. Blitz. Now, guys, the rate of fire is actually way faster than that. Probably a little bit more like this. The rear sight has uh, two apertures on it. And your sight is adjustable in the back and in the front. You do have to remove your iron sights in order to put your scope rail on. There's your dual rail right there. There's your pressure gauge on the bottom. Carry handle definitely works. So there's my hat sand blitz. It's a pretty pretty big gun, pretty long, pretty long dog. So just for a size perspective, there's the hit sand blitz compared to the size of this RC truck. Okay, check this out. Now I'm only showing you this because it's the same price. It's actually hundred dollars cheaper. By the time you buy the battery, is probably going to be exactly the same price as the gun you're looking at. And you guys need to decide which one you'll get more enjoyment out of. A lot of you guys probably don't even know something like this exists, but it's huge. These tires are like giant. They're like six inches tall. This bad boy right here is called a uh, Creighton 8S. And there's a link in the description where you can buy it. I'm not sure if I have these guys hooked up for affiliate yet, but if you buy stuff through the affiliate links in my videos, I'll get a small percentage, 2-5% to of the sale, so that would be really cool. So if you bought something like this and I got 4%, I would get... About 35 bucks. So that's no joke right there. Anyway, I'm going to do a full review of this bad boy on my RC channel. So you have to be patient for it though. They happen when they happen, but I make some kick-ass RC reviews, I'll tell you that. Now back to our story. How you doing, Hat Sam Blitz? I'm doing very well. By the way, where is the red tablecloth, the shiny red Oh yeah, you don't get a, a red tablecloth anymore. What? Also, I don't know if the lighting is just right on me right now. Uh, yeah man, I don't, I don't care. What the heck, Nate? Is this about uh, what happened this weekend? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're not getting the star treatment anymore. So you guys, this last weekend I had been ripping this hat sand for a couple days at least. Put quite a few rounds through it. Anyway, I was at my dad's birthday party and I asked my brother if he wanted to check out the Blitz. Anyway, by the time I got out set up in the front yard, I had a whole crowd gathered around me. And uh, when I went to pull the trigger, let's just say not much happened. Alright, it would shoot five rounds maybe, then jam, and then three more, and... It was uh, not really embarrassing, but I just feel bad for all the kids because if they would have seen the full auto action, it would have blown their minds. So, back to our story. What was that all about? You can't expect me to shoot fully automatic without any lubrication. Alright, I'm going to drop some gun oil in the action there and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's all you need to do. So the real reason that it jammed was because it needed the barrel cleaned. The barrel is actually part of the fully auto mechanism. So as soon as you get lead dust built up in there, it's going to slow it down. And the instructions actually say do not over lubricate the gun. So I think your main thing you're just going to need to do is just like they say, clean the barrel every 500 to 1,000 rounds, and this thing should keep shooting real nice. You always want to clean your new air guns with a flexible cleaning rod. In addition, if you use ballastol rather than hops, 
Balacel is safe for your air gun seals, so you'll be set. Don't use a metal cleaning rod, or you can damage the crown of your air gun. You can get a JL Crown Saver, link in the description below. Only 10 bucks. So guys, we got a 250 bar fill. Definitely fits. You want to fill your air gun slowly. Perfect. Then you bleed your air. Alright, you guys, I'm not going to bore you with the uh, semi auto. Let's do this. I'm wearing safety glasses, by the way. Holy crap. Oh, I couldn't complete my smiley face. Hold on. Well, guys, it was surprisingly fast to load that magazine. To uh, replace your magazine winding tool, you just snap it in there like that. Give it a turn and you're locked in. Alright, so uh, two magazines has brought us down to 150, but we'll get a shot count shortly. For now, I'm going to go around the yard and blow some more stuff up. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's what it looks like when you double tap a soda can at a thousand feet per second with a 22. I don't think I've ever seen a 22 do quite that much damage to a can. There was that extra lever on the back of the buttstock back there. So it pops right off, and that is going to fit right like that. So let's just follow the instruction. We have an air right there open. Okay, so. So at this point you want to load a pellet skirt up and that's going to hold your wheel in place. Just like a lot of magazines that they have nowadays. Then you just load in the rest of your pellets. Close the cover. Make sure it's snapped shut, and you're set. So with the gray side going forward, you're just going to basically slide this notch over the end of the barrel. This just goes in there a little bit uh, loosey-goosey, but that's it. Oh, okay, and then the uh, this door just kind of holds it in there, makes a little shelf for it. Then once you're ready to get jiggy with it, watch out. So safety on is right there. Safety off is right there. Uh, news flash. It's got this super cool all metal sling thing on one of the rails right there. It's pretty sweet. So to get the carry handle off and your open sights off, put a scope, you just, uh, there's a Phillips screw right there and one at the end. So we're going to loosen those. It should slide right off. You actually have to remove the screw entirely because it's probably holding onto the little pick rail thing right there. Yeah, I can feel it on the front one, definitely. 
And there we go. Okay, I'm gonna be shooting at 35 yards right now. You guys can hear the ding a -ling. Ah, crap. Word got out that the Hats and Bliss has a problem. I guess I didn't get it fixed in time. So now all the dogs in the neighborhood are talking about it. Let me uh, go ahead and get some oil in this thing. So as I said before, you guys, the oil was not the problem. It was the lead dust that was built up inside the barrel mechanism there. So anyway, this is what happened, though. I threw some oil in there, and then later you're going to see when I discover about having to clean the barrel. All nice and greasy. It's pouring out everywhere. This did help it for a few magazines, but the reason that you don't over oil it is because then you're just going to end up attracting more dust and dirt and stuff. Although the action is not where it builds up. It builds up in the front of the barrel because the barrel actually is part of the full auto system. I think, not sure, but I think it bounces back and forth inside of there. All right, I got through three, three, so three shot burst. Because the front of the shroud is a spring loaded. And when I tried to remove the baffle, the barrel kind of sprang forward. <laughs> then when I cocked the gun, it recessed back and I didn't want to mess with it anymore. Probably don't take your shroud off. Now I'm going to show you what happened when I ran a patch through there. And you guys remember how dirty it was when I first got it. Now watch this. Holy crap, you guys, they were not kidding. This thing is dirty as heck. From fully automatic uh, lead dust. Holy crap, I've never, that's dirtier than when we got the thing. Lily White, let's get this party restarted. So you guys already saw this clip, but this was actually the very next magazine that I ran through the gun after I cleaned it. All right, this thing's working fine. Real quick, we're going to do a sound and a trigger pull test, and then we'll be back to some full auto carnage. Sound test. These were actually the worst pellets that I could find in my collection. Years old and totally oxidized. They still cycle just fine through the blitz.
Holy guacamole. This one's not doing much better. Alright, I'm going to take a couple semi-auto shots just to see where I'm hitting. I hit the same exact spot. I'm going to go full out on this guy. Wow. So I got at least four. That's seven pounds, you guys, not seven ounces. At that time, it actually was seven pounds. So about a six, seven pound, well, about a seven pound trigger pull on that bad boy. I tested all the different JSP pellets and uh, it didn't shoot any of them too fast. Official 18 grain group on the bore. Here's just a random group that I shot with the 18 grain JSPs. This gun basically does Nickel size groups at 35 yards and quarter size groups at 50 yards with the occasional flyer. With the crazy week that I had with the hat sand blitz, not knowing how to operate it and all that, I wasn't able to do any chronograph testing. But I can guess that these pellets are flying between 900 and 950 feet per second. Now that's how you type. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's his two eyes right there. That's just like acne, his nose and his mouth. He's uh, he's melancholy right now. Not really happy or sad. All right, there's a front row seat for you. We're gonna try a few different configurations uh, with some full out of fire, 37 yards. I had it stuck on semi-auto, hold on. That was pretty good. I couldn't control it, but uh, it shot the whole clip. All right, you guys, I'm loaded up with some good old sniper lights, H&Ns. Let's see what we got going on here. This should be easy if I just aim right in the middle.
Wow, that emptied the clip, you guys. Nice. All right, so one way to use full auto is just, well, let me better take out the good one first. See, that's awesome. Take out this little guy. Oh, this is awesome. Well, emptied the magazine. All right, you guys, and a magazine number three off the full tank. Watch this. That was cool. All right. All right, you guys, final thoughts on the Hat Sand Blitz. Okay, this gun has been kind of an emotional roller coaster for me. I was really fortunate to find one for sale in 22, a full two, three months before they're going to be coming out in November. So I wanted to get, you know, a video on here, and hopefully some of you guys would buy this for Christmas through my affiliate link. If you do, I'll make $50 for every Hats and Blitz that's uh, bought through Pyramid Air, Amazon, or eBay, if you use the link in my video description. But anyway, and then, you know, at different points I thought that it didn't work but it turned out that it was me you know you gotta follow the instructions so what's important about this rifle is you have to clean it every 500 to 1000 rounds okay and I would drop some oil in there it says don't over oil it this thing just strikes me as very solid very well made you got your high-end hat sand bottle right there the fill probe fits in there so solidly and just really nicely operates at 250 bar that's something I like and of course, guys, the styling, the fact that it looks almost exactly like an AR-15. I mean, that's cool. And the 1,400 rounds per minute is a tremendous tool. There's a lot of different ways to use it. You know, it's an awesome way to get rid of all your old pellets that you don't like. I've already burned through a couple tins that have been sitting in my closet for literally years. And it shoots all pellets, no problem. You could probably fit slugs in there. It's got a big magazine. And yeah, you guys, I mean... You're going to have some maintenance involved in this gun. Not your uh, normal side lever, but you know, it's fully automatic. So just uh, know what you're getting into. Okay, now I put this thing probably a couple thousand rounds through this. I shot this a lot more than I shoot most guns that I review on the Airgun channel. And I can tell you guys confidently, this gun operates. Okay, it works. Um, it's not just going to stop working on you. But you know, as I said, you got to clean it. But you guys, uh, I didn't know if I was going to be able to recommend this rifle or not, and uh, I am going to recommend it because I think it's a, I think it's a gun that you can buy and enjoy, and it's not going to break or do nothing weird on you. Okay, so that's been my test of the Hats and Blitz 22 caliber. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy shooting, and we'll see you on the next one. Here we go.